Welcome, ladies and gents. Chris Andre here. You can find me at BetBoxing on Twitter for boxing-related tweets, or you can subscribe to the channel, click that notifications button, and get a new notification whenever a new video is uploaded. What on earth have we just seen, man? What kind of a scorecard was that with Valdez and Conceição? It's, it's p- probably the worst scorecard I've ever seen in my life. 117, 110 to Valdez. The boy got schooled. What rounds did you give to Valdez? I don't get it. He won, what, three rounds maximum? What other, if you had Valdez, because I hear, I hear a couple of people going to me, oh, it's a close fight. I want to know your specific scorecard. Give me the rounds. I want to know the specific rounds. I need to go rewatch them because I don't understand what people are talking about. You had a situation. <laughs> there was one, oh man, there was one round, right? <laughs> there was one round. He was getting his face jabbed off. He jumped in with this <laughs> looping hook. Um, Kose Sal just turned with it just glanced off his cheek it didn't even properly land and they go what a right hand I'm saying again what a right hand man <laughs> what, what the, did he have a fly on his face he sweated the fly off his face what right hand there was another hook where he threw and one of the uh, a left hook this was to the body and they were sitting there going oh big hook from <laughs> Valdez the replay at the end of the round trying to find moments for Valdez showed the replay it showed it three times it hit the bicep <laughs> What are, you, what are we doing over here, man? Look at the state of his face. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say the way your face marks up is necessarily a, a sign of whether you win or lose the fight, right? It's not. However, when your face is pummeled and you've been outlanded, which CompuBox confirms, how do you win the fight? <laughs> I don't understand. You were outlanded and your face is a mess. <laughs> what did you do? Did you hurt him? Did you drop him? In round three, the one round in the first six, the only one in the first six that, in my opinion, you could give to Valdez, and that was a close round, because Valdez in the third landed a big shot. That affected Conceição. But apart from that 10 or 20 second period, Conceição was winning the round. So even that's a swing round. Depends on what you value. Come on, man. What are we doing over here? Now, after the middle rounds, I think it was round seven and eight, um, Valdez started to get a rhythm. Conceição started to look tired. By round nine, my man got a second wind. He was cool. He was comfortable. He was putting on a clinic. He was moving around. He was showboating. Jamil Herring, right, who I actually had a, a little Twitter exchange with Jamil Herring. He basically said, please don't showboat in your first world title fight against the champion in his house. You might regret it, right, to Robson Conceição. So I said, he's the B fighter against... A, a Canelo fighter or fighter in Canelo stable he's doing the right thing by showboating he has to make it so obvious that he's cruising that it doesn't allow the judges to even think of robbing him and Jamel Herring replied that ain't how it goes 90% of the time remember that term home cooking you see what I'm talking about this was early in the fight now For middle rounds it was middle rounds Right, and he was showboating that's how comfortable he was at the end of the fight he's sitting there he's screaming in the camera he's orgasmic in the ring and you've got Valdez who looks like he's just crying he's just started crying because he's just found out that his girlfriend's left him and you're going to tell they knew they knew they two them two knew who won the fight and you're going to tell me that he won the fight let alone winning it 117 110 get out of here man and that point deduction <laughs> oh, he literally tapped him on the back of the head he tapped him like he was taking the piss out of him like mocking him and he took a point off for a rabbit punch. <laughs> oh my days. Boys, girls, I can't handle this anymore, man. It's doing my head in. I'm stressed enough as it is. <laughs> I'm trying to use boxing as an escapism and then I come and see this idiocy, this madness. I can't take it. What am I missing here? I'm sure there's going to be a few among you out there who's going to tell me it was a close fight. Please go rewatch the fight and put it on mute. Put it on mute. Stop listening to Christina Poncho and Chris Algieri chatting absolute breeze in your ear. Put it on mute and just watch the fight. Forget the crowd. Forget the commentary team. Just watch the fight, man. He schooled him. It wasn't even a close fight. I don't understand. It wasn't close. I don't get it. It's just, it it brings boxing into disrepute. In fact, I'm going to tell you just how much I knew this fight was a mismatch. In round two, and bear in mind, I could make myself look stupid, right? I tweeted, Valdez is getting schooled. Conceição is targeting the body so well, this is in round three now, considering he had issues making weight, this could really take its toll. Valdez has a puncher's chance. This is right at the start of round three. And he did land that big shot. 
as the fight wore on, as it got to round five, I think, I said, Conce Sal might even stop him. I'm not even joking. I think his points is more likely, but he's beaten the out of him. Don't sleep on that right hand to the body. Valdez is getting pummeled. Just as I tweet that, I see um, Tank Davis put out a tweet, Javonta Davis, to say he's going to stop him. Now, believe me, he weren't talking about Valdez stopping him because by that point, Valdez was getting bashed up. This is how one-sided the first half of the fight was. Now, after six rounds, like I said, I had it 6-0, maybe 5-1. Andre Ward having it 4-2. I want to know what two rounds he gave him in the, in the first six rounds. I don't understand. Now, I've, everyone else who I'd seen comment, okay, people like uh, at Kings underscore A1, uncle, as he's known on there. <laughs> Love chatting to you, uncle, if you're watching. He had it 5-1 after six. The majority of people had it 5-1, which I assume means they gave that third round to Valdez. Where did the other rounds come from? And then <laughs> after round eight, Andre Ward had it 67-66 for Valdez. So you're telling me after round eight that if the fight got stopped on a cut, that Valdez wins the fight? Who are you kidding, man? What are you lot talking about? I don't understand. What are we watching over here? Am I watching something different? Let me know if I've completely lost my mind. Because I can't believe what I'm watching over here. Sonny Edwards, like me, had it wide to Conceição. He had it 7-3 um, after 10, I believe it was. Uh, I'm not sure if that was including the points deduction. But the point is he had Conceição wide. A number of us on Twitter, as I can see here, had it to Conceição. A few people said it was a fairly close fight, but Conceição definitely won. The only people that seemed to think it was close and could have gone either way seemed to either be tied somehow to top rank or somehow to Canelo Alvarez. I'm talking about journalists and stuff like that. I'm not going to mention names, but you guys can go and check out some of those names. And I even called one up on it because to me, that was shocking. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, in fact, really quickly, let me talk about Hergovic. I'm going to say this as well. Hergovic did not impress me. I will give a more detailed technical breakdown on Hergovic and a few of the other fights when I see the rest of them. I've yet to see the, the Channel 5 card and stuff like that. So I'll do that on another video. Um, but let me know what you thought of this fight. But yeah, what I will say is if Hergovic performed like that against one of the top boys in this division, he's getting knocked out in my opinion. Okay, and I know that's going to come across as a little bit controversial as well because it was such an easy night's work at face value at first glance. But there were a lot of things in there that I didn't like. So we'll talk about that. Uh, in another video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you lot think about this fight, man. Jesus. Chat to you soon. Take care. God bless.